I got to experience the power of God's Word a lot more through this past year, especially as we went through the Romans CT, where we were trying to memorize verses each week. Having to memorize the verses was a way that helped me to really store up God's Word in my heart, which I saw helping me when different difficulties came up, like having a close family friend pass away as a non-Christian. Back in September, I got sudden news that a family friend passed away. She was like an aunt figure to my siblings and I, watching us when we were younger while our parents were at work. When I first got the news, I was mostly trying to process the suddenness of her passing. Initially, there were feelings of sadness, but eventually thoughts of doubts towards God started to creep up as well. She was not a Christian when she passed away, and to what I remember, she didn't have much religious beliefs other than growing up in a Buddhist family. During that time of grieving, I remember having thoughts, questioning and doubting God's goodness, of why it had to be this way. Why couldn't she have just a little more time? What if my brother and I knew earlier and we could have shared the gospel with her? But what really helped me to be grounded to truth rather than my visceral emotional reaction was God's word, specifically the verses that we were going through during that time. Verses like Romans 5.8 and Romans 8.38-39 through helped to remind me of the truth of God's love. In my mind, I thought it was unfair that God, being as loving as He is, would allow those who passed away without accepting Him to go to hell only because the situation was now very personal to me. Even though I knew intellectual truths that I read in Course 101 or that I wrestled with from talking with leaders from similar situations in the past about how hell shows that love ultimately concedes, what gripped me more than what I knew intellectually was what I was immediately feeling emotionally at that time. But through God's word, I saw that the doubts I casted on God through the lens of my emotions was not the truth of who God is. The truth was that God so loved each of us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And there is truly nothing that can separate us from the love that He has for us. Another verse that helped to really challenge my emotions and doubts was Romans 11, 33-36. Oh, the depths of riches and wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are His judgments and how inscrutable His ways! For who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been His counselor? It was such a clarifying verse for me as it helped me to properly resize myself before a holy God. Who was I that I was scrutinizing God's ways and placing myself in a position where I thought I knew better than God? Each of these verses really helped me to fight against my emotional reactions, to hold on to truth rather than being tossed about by what I was feeling in the moment. Through that, I got to really see how powerful it is to have God's words stored up in my heart and got to experience the soundness in Psalm 119.11 a little more. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. God's word really can be such an anchoring source in our lives. And even if his word doesn't immediately apply to my situation, I saw that when I store up those little treasures of truth in my heart, they were sources of wisdom for me to fall back on when situations arose. I was really spurred by this experience as well as through the testimonies of others who have testified to experiencing the power of God's word through memorizing and storing up his word. So I decided to revisit the 100 verses that every respectable Christian should know a list of verses that Pastor Manny has been exhorting many of us to memorize ever since our undergrad years. And in light of our key verse this year from 2 Timothy 2.15, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. I really wanted to do my best to be someone who could rightly handle God's word, which meant that I first needed to know it, treasure it, and store it up. And I thought going back to this list was a good place to start. So I've been going through them as well as memory verses from our recent DTs and Proverbs and have been trying to find different ways in order to really store up his word through writing sticky notes to stick on my monitor at work and writing sheets of paper to stick in my car to quickly look at during times waiting in traffic or stopping at red lights. And even from doing that, there have been different verses that have spurred me and have been an anchoring source of truth for me. Like 1 Samuel 12, 23, as I'm doing ministry and as I'm thinking about different people in my life or Proverbs 6, 6, 6, 10 through 11, as I wrestle with sins and spiritual laxity. More and more, I am experiencing that as I store up God's word, they are such precious gems of wisdom for me to use in current and later situations, where I can deepen in my convictions that God's words and his ways are true and good. This I know, God's word is living and active, and there is power in storing up his word.